Hi you guys, so this is going to be your reading from the 7th until the 13th, from the 7th to the 13th. Um, and we are just going to be uh, doing a kind of a horseshoe spread for each sign and pulling one message from the animal tarot. Okay, so uh, let's get started. Starting with uh, Aries today. And we're going to pull first from the Animal Tarot. Aries message. Message for Aries. Show me what Aries need to see. The Empress. Angora Rabbit. Time to hop into action. Use your natural creativity to bring forth prosperity and success in your life. What are the cards for Aries? Aries horseshoe message. All right. This is a five card pool. All right, the first position. So I'm feeling that you are very determined towards something right now. You're moving towards something positive. Um, however you're viewing the situation is what's going to determine the outcome. So try to keep a positive outlook. Your obstacles right now is um, wholeness. Which then basically means keeping an open mind. Opening up your heart chakra. It also um, symbolizes peace. So come, you may be coming to terms with a certain situation. Then your strength and resources is going to be joy. 
So definitely a positive, joyous outcome on a certain situation. And your focus is delight. So bringing forth the creativity. Not taking anything too serious and keeping the situation as light as possible. And that's what I have for Aries. Now we are going to be moving on next. Sagittarius. So Sagittarius message from the animal tarot. What does Sagittarius need to hear? What does Sagittarius need to hear? The sun. Your plans will work out well, bringing you happiness, prosperity, and success. Your garner the recognition for your accomplishment you so richly deserve. Okay. Messages from the Ganesh deck for Sagittarius. Your five card horseshoe spread. What does Sagittarius need to know? What does Sagittarius need to know? So you, right now, you're in a position where you have a lot of drive and ambition towards something. You're motivated towards something. You have a drive or initiation to do something. Your next move or your next step is to reveal revelation. So there could be a revelation of something that is coming. Key changes. This is saying that there are some going to be some changes in your external and your internal world. There is a cycle that is being completed and um, you're entering into another cycle. And the more you resist this change, is the more pain that it's going to bring you. Now, the obstacles is your empowerment. So, you're not relying on your inner strength. Which could be an obstacle for you. Your resources is that you have the creativity. Or you have the... You have prosperity. But maybe you're not seeing it. You're, you're needing to integrate accepting the truth um, 
this is saying that you create your reality. So whatever you create, that's the reality that's going to happen. All right. And then in your last position for the your outcome or your focus, you have insight. Back to what I just said about uh, using your intuition. This is tapping into your third eye chakra. So being intuitive about something about whatever circumstances you're dealing with. All right, that's what I have for Sagittarius. We are now moving on to Leo. Leo's message from the Animal Tarot. What does Leo need to hear? Show me the card that Leo needs to see. Okay. Nine of Spring. You've worked hard and what you've created is impressive and worthy of protect protecting. Annoying challenges may pop up, but don't worry, you'll get through them just as you have in the past. And that was Nine of Spring, the gazelle. All right. Now we're looking at Ganesha's uh, five card pull. For Leo, show me the cards that I need to see. Show me the cards that Leo needs to see. Blessing, fulfillment, healing, generosity, and energetic movement. So right now you're receiving a lot of blessings. Blessings may be right here, um, and maybe some of you are not seeing it right now, but there are blessings. Uh, your next step is fulfillment. Maybe you're trying to fulfill something or achieve something. So this is also saying uh, tap into your wisdom. Should be maybe to learn something new. It could also mean a new job, new position. What your obstacles are right now, um, you're healing. You're healing from a certain situation. Uh, the peacock feathers there um, represent a good uh, example of healing. Um, they, it said that peacock feathers have healing powers. So for those who are trying to heal, um, maybe you should keep a little peacock feather with you. Um, it's also good um, that you're trying to heal and go through some kind of, um, heal some kind of situation. Now, your resources is your generosity. We all know that Leo has a very big heart. And uh, giving is something that they don't hold back on. So that's one of their strengths is their generosity. And your outcome or your new focus is energetic movement. There's going to be some kind of movement. Maybe you're feeling a little stuck right now, but you're definitely going to feel 
get some kind of energetic movement in some kind of situation. And the movement could be fast coming. Right? That's what I have for Leo. And we're going to go ahead and move on next to Gemini. Looking at the message from the Animal Tarot for Gemini. What do you want to show Gemini? What does Gemini need to see? What does Gemini need to see? Queen of Autumn. Belgian Harry and this is you will be given advice that's both practical and creative and it should be followed precisely focus only upon the positive in every situation or person now we're taking a look at um, Gemini's five card pull Show me the cards that Gemini needs to see. What does Gemini need to know? All right. Right now, I see that you have a lot of prosperity. There's something prosperous, prosperity coming your way if it hasn't come already. Then you have capacity to love. So uh, this is kind of telling me that you need to open up in areas of uh, love. Um, open up, maybe you're feeling a little vulnerable. And this is saying to open up to that vulnerability um, in, in order to receive love. You have uh, obstacles right now is determination. This can also mean root chakra blockage. So maybe you're lacking the focus that you need and you need to just focus. As you can see in the picture, Ganesha meditating. Strength and resources right now. Well, your strength is your spiritual quest. You're on a spiritual journey. You're discovering things spiritually, maybe. And your focus and outcome is going to be your personal trans transformation. This is a time of transformation for you. Um, things are transforming um, and changing. This is also saying that, you know, change is going to occur. That's what I have for Gemini. Now we are going to take a look at Taurus. Taurus message from the animal Tarot. What card does Taurus need to see? Show me the message for Taurus. Nine of Autumn, and this is Ragdoll Cat. Your success has brought you financial security and the reward of much desired time off to enjoy your own company. You may suddenly have a brilliant idea for a business or self-employment opportunity that will be very successful. Now we're going to take a look at the five-card pull from Ganesha's deck. Or Taurus, show me the cards that Taurus need to see. What does Taurus need to know right now? What does Taurus need to know right now? 
protection, belonging, cultivation, beginning, and nurture. All right. So right now you're being protected. There is some kind of energy that's protecting you right now. Um, you definitely have something, someone... some protection surrounding your energy right now or this could mean that you need to protect your energy right now belonging is your next card this is telling me that You're needing to find um, security from your win from within yourself. You're needing to feel that you belong somewhere, or you're feeling uh, secured or stable. Your obstacles is cultivation. Is how to get there. Is how to cultivate this um, stability or belonging. Your strength and resources is beginning. Beginning. Um, this is always saying that there is a new be beginning. So whenever there is an ending, there is also a beginning. It's the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. So there is definitely something there that's going to, you're going to get some kind of new start to. Um, your focus and outcome right now is self-nurture. Learning to nurture yourself, maybe. Um, it also can be creating a calm and balanced life to maintain um, compassion, um, to just be peaceful and create a nurturing environment for yourself right now. That's what I have for Taurus. Now we're moving on next to Libra. Libra's message from the Animal Tarot. What message does Libra need to see? What message does Libra need to see? What message does Libra need to see? King of Autumn, and this is Gypsy Vanner Horse. Everything's going to run out to turn out great. Projects will be stunningly successful. Exciting new career opportunities are possible, and money or resources that come your way will be invested wisely. Now we're taking a look at the Ganesha deck. Show me the cards that Libra needs to see. Show me what Libra needs to know right now. You have promise of the future, splendor, divine support, spiritual practice, and positive outlook. So in your current position, there's definitely a promise of the future. Looking out towards something brighter and better. Now your next step is going to be splendor. Splendor. Um, can also mean creating an environment. This is more saying um, that you have to seek that enjoyment from within yourself. To look at the beauty within yourself. To create that splendor, splendorous and, um, environment. 
Your obstacles right now is divine support. So maybe you're not relying totally on divine support right now. Sometimes there are things that we cannot control and we just have to rely on divine support. So this is a Om is symbol reminding you to rely on your divine support. Your resources are your spiritual practices. So whatever you're practicing or your religion is, is definitely your strength right now. And a new focus on your outcome is to positive outlook, to keep a positive outlook on things. And remember that how we perceive things or is sometimes how the outcome is going to, to be. So if we pertain a positive outlook, the, outco the outcome will also be positive. This can also be reminding you to look at situations in different ways. That's what I have for Libra. And now we're going to move on to Capricorn. And we're taking a look at the message for Capricorn. Capricorn's message. What is the message for Capricorn? The magician, unicorn. There is magic in the air. You can manifest everything that you need to be successful. And we're taking a look at the horseshoe spread. Show me the cards that Capricorn needs to see. Show me the cards that Capricorn needs to see. Beginning, inner knowing, fulfillment, understanding, relaxation. So I feel right now you're beginning. You're at the beginning of something new. Maybe a new business, view, new advent, um, venture, something new. Um, your next step is to rely on your inner knowing. Trust your intuition. Your obstacles right now is fulfillment. So maybe you're needing to look for someone to consult with, for more information with. This can also mean gaining knowledge about a certain situation. Your strength right now is understanding. Being understanding. This can also mean that gaining a clear vision about a certain situation. Seeing things both physically and spiritually is what this is, is saying. And then your, your outcome or your new focus is relaxation. So I feel this is a time for you to recuperate, to regain your strength um, and take some time to rest. what I have for Capricorn. Now we're going to take a look at what we have next for Virgo. Virgo's uh, message from the Animal Tarot. Show me the card that Virgo needs to see. Awakening. Giraffe. Look at things in a different way and all will make sense. Don't worry if your progress is halted temporarily. Things will soon start moving again. Now we are going to
Now we are going to um, look at what messages from the Ganesha deck for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know right now? What does Virgo need to know right now? Childlike expression, reflection, decision, empowerment, sustenance. All right, so this is telling me that you need... Um, This is tapping into your inner child, reminding you that not all, it, not um, everything is not just work alone. That you need a balance. Then we have right now your next step or task, which is your reflection, reflecting on certain things, maybe. Your obstacles right now are decisions. You have decisions to make. There's something, some circumstance maybe that requires your attention and decision. Your strength and uh, resource right now is your empowerment. Finding the strength from within. And your outcome or your new, new focus should be sustenance, with, which means... Which means this is a reminder that you have the abundance. So there is more than enough to support and nourish your desires at this time. This can also mean if you're refusing to create experience and grow, that it can also be detrimental to you. So you need to grow and experience in order to sustain. That's what I have for Virgo. And now we're going to take a look and move on next to Aquarius. Aquarius message from the animal tarot. Show me the card that Aquarius needs to see. Seven of Spring Gecko. Be assertive. Believe in yourself and don't let anyone take away your personal power. Trust that your inner guidance is true and follow it completely. Now we're going to take a look at the um, horseshoe spread for Aquarius. Show me the cards that Aquarius needs to see. Relaxation. Beginning. Inner knowing. Fulfillment. And understanding. So what we have right now is that you may be recuperating. You may be resting on um, regaining your energy right now. There's definitely a new beginning coming. It could be a new, um, some kind of new, something new that you're starting or something new that will come your way. Your obstacle right now is trusting your intuition, your inner knowing. Your strength and resources is fulfillment, gaining knowledge. And your focus and um, should be understanding. This is also seeing things with the physical eye as well as the spiritual eye. This is also can mean an eye-opening situation and that's going to bring understanding. That's what I have. 
for Aquarius. Now we're going to move on to Scorpio. Scorpio's message from the Animal Tarot. Show me the message for Scorpio. Ace of Spring. And this is White Tiger. A wonderful new opportunity presents itself. It may have come as a surprise, but you'll still want to leap into action and Passionately pursue every possibility. Now we're looking at the horseshoe spread for Scorpio. Show me the cards that Scorpio needs to see. Show me the cards that Scorpio needs to see. Okay, so um, in your current position, Scorpio, you have divine support. So it definitely um, some divine support there. Um, your task should be your spiritual quest, spiritually connecting with your practice. Your obstacle right now is your outlook on how you have things. So please to keep a positive outlook on the situation and things and try to look at things with, in a different way. Your strength right now is your concentration. So you're definitely concentrating on a certain project or situation right now. And then your new focus is going to be your capacity to love. So this is saying... Um, open up to the vulnerability, to the change, to allow love to enter. That's what I have for Scorpio. And then we're going to take a look next at Cancer. What is the message for Cancer? Cancer's message from the animal tarot show me the card message for cancer nine of spring you've worked hard and what you've created is impressive and worthy of protecting annoying challenges may pop up but don't worry you'll get through them just as you would have in the past now we're taking a look at um, cancer's horseshoe spread Show me the cards that Cancer needs to see. Show me the cards that Cancer needs to see. Okay. You have uh, blessings right now. So in your current position, you're definitely getting some blessings from... Your task is going to be revelation. This is preparing yourself for key changes that's going to turn in your internal and external world. Your obstacle is harmony. Trying to find peace, maybe. Um, this is also meaning like harmony within yourself, like feeling good about your existence. This is about saying what is going to bring you the happiness that you deserve. It can mean new adventures. It could mean socializing. It could mean a variety of things. But feeling good about your life right now. So your your strength right now is going to be healed. It's going to be healing 
going on regarding a certain circumstance or situation. Your new focus is going to be your heart chakra, which is going to tell me that you need to kind of open up and focus on your heart chakra right now. Acknowledging the oneness. Recognize that you're a part of something bigger. Um, and this can mean like focusing on your heart chakra or something in relation to the heart chakra is healing. And that's what I have for cancer. Now I'm going to take a look at Pisces. The message for Pisces. What does a message for Pisces from the animal tarot? You have release. It's time to release the past and move on to something new. This ending is the first step on the way to a happier future. So definitely releasing something. Now we are taking a look at the horseshoe spread. Show me the cards that Pisces need to see. Show me the cards that Pisces need to see. You have empowerment, acceptance, childlike expression, generosity, and steadfastness. All right, so right now I'm showing that you are empowered. This is uh, empowerment that's coming from within. Um, it can also mean to express the truth, even though there's a risk that you might come off in a wrong way. Um, this is saying to express the truth about how you feel. Uh, your next step is to be is acceptance, which is telling me maybe there's a situation that you need to express yourself about and also at the same time just accept the circumstance. Your obstacles is maybe uh, your childlike expression or maybe there's an imbalance between working too much and enjoying life. Yeah, definitely your strength is definitely going to be that you, you have a kind heart, you have an open heart your um, generosity, giving, and your focus and outcome is going to be steadfastness. So this is, this is telling me that you're, you need to stop wavering back and forth um, on a circumstance or uh, be moved in any way by a circumstance that surrounds you by right now. Like exactly how you feel about this circumstance is, is that is what you need to follow. Um, don't go back and forth on how you feel or on a situation. Is to, to hold steady is what this is trying to tell you. All right, that's what I have for Pisces. And that's all the reading that I have for this week. Um, thank you guys for watching and I hope you join me next time.